live and it's on me. Yes, Hang on. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Do, do, do. How are we all? Just checking my little hot pot in there. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Is anybody there yet? No. Not nobody there yet. Let's wait until we build oh, up an audience. Four people now. Hello, how are you? Who are you? Rebecca Paul. Hi, Rebecca. Kelly Bet. Hi, Kelly Bet. How are you? So, tonight, I am cooking for our vloggery Slimming World's Cowboy Hot Pot, but with my own spin. Because we had a bit of a look round, and it seemed to be a recipe that loads of people were searching. So I had a look at the recipe, and it's nice enough, it's nice enough, I'm not dissing it, but I thought I could make that a lot tastier. So hello everybody, let me say hello to a few people. Can you turn the camera? That's alright, I'll do it, I'll do it. So hello to a few people. Can you stir my onions for me, Kiki? Hi Lior, hi Kelly, hi Amy, hi Lucy, hi Karen, Kate, Zoe, Lucy, Sophie, Kim. Hello to all of you. So if you're just joining, I am cooking with my own spin, Slimming World's Cowboy Hot Pot. Um, it's low calorie, it's yummy, it's filling. Because I know lots of you are on a bit of a weight loss plan, as Mark and I are. And so this is tonight's vloguary. This is tonight's vlog. Hi, MQ Top Technology. Hi, Shelley. Hi, Jay's watching from my hospital bed. Mm, I hope you're right. Hi, Monique. Hi, Rory. Hi, Rory. How are you? Hi, Diane, Kat, Brenda, Deara, Zoe. How much have you lost? Lost six kilos. Wow. Well done, Zoe Brown. Um, so here we go. Off we go. So, we're going to go into the cooking now. So, in um, the Slimming World recipe, it says to use a spray, that spray fry light stuff. I'm not a fan. So what I've done is just put a teaspoon of olive oil, show them the onions in there, Kiki. Kiki's marked tonight. Um, made, I made vegan cookies for dessert tonight and they were delicious. Made what? I made vegan um, cookies. Oh, yeah. Morgan Olivia, I said. Oh, yeah. Oliver, Olivia, Oliver. So, guys, I cooked that really slowly. What's really important when you're cooking, like, for low calorie, you've taken the fat out, so you've got to put the flavour in. So by cooking the onions, look, until they're like that, until they're really soft, so you've got all the flavour out of them. The worst thing is people tend to, when they're cooking lower calorie food is, they sort of, they do, because they're not putting much oil in. Onions are always a bit crunchy, which is going to be gross. So I'm putting garlic in. You could put loads and loads and loads. If you want loads, I'm putting two cloves in. Because I'm kind of doing... So some people are saying I can't hear you. Oh, really? Let me have a look. It's time, camera. You can't hear us. Can you hear us? Let me know if you can hear us. Turn the oh. camera, Mum. Oh, yeah. It's in the kitchen. Hello, Dad here. Oh, there's Daddy. Can you hear us, Mark? Some people are saying they can't hear us. No, they can hear fine. Okay, so, maybe sorry, it was just so, one person. No, it was t three, three people. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so I've got, I've got two onions in there that I've cooked down really soft. I'm going to add the garlic. Don't forget, we're taking out the fat, so we're putting in the flavour. Um, as I say, you could put it, sit like, with spaghetti bolognese in this pan for the girls. Show Kiki. Got spaghetti bolognese in this pan. And cowboy hot pot in the other. So, in the Slimming World one, there's a tin of tomatoes and there's carrots. And I just didn't really fancy that. So, I'm just going for a bit more of a mixture of beans. So, I'm putting in a bit of tomato puree, um, just to give it a bit of depth. But the thing is with tomato puree, it's much better if you fry it in a bit. 
after I've cooked this, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to let Kiki go and I'm going to sit down and have a chat with you guys, see how you're all doing with your New Year's resolutions. But I thought it'd be good to just get this cooked and then people can um, leave if they've only come for the recipe. Yummy. Oh, nice in there. Yummy. Yummy. That's what Manny and Kiki are having. So we're cooking in the tomato puree. So we've got onions, garlic, tomato puree. I used a teaspoon of oil rather than the spray oil because I think a really good, a nice olive oil instead of that like weird stuff. I don't like that weird stuff. So to that, I'm going to add, oh, hang on. They, they don't do this in the slimming world recipe, but I thought, how do I get like that flavour of like a cowboy would cook it on a smoky fire? Smoky paprika. And it really works. So I tried it earlier today for you. So this is a recipe I literally just made up today. Some smoky paprika. And Mark bought me this lovely smoky chilli. But you can use whatever chilli you like. This is chipotle, chipotle chilli. Chili. But if you don't like chilli, don't add chilli. The paprika will give you enough of a little kick. If you don't like it really hot, I like quite hot. And I think the cowboys would have liked it hot, wouldn't they? Keep them warm. So to that, I'm going to add my sausages, which I've already browned. And I'm using these. I bloody love them. Hashtag not an ad. Hashtag not paid for. I just love these. And they're chicken. And Someone I'm... asked, can you use a rapeseed wheel? Yes, you can. I prefer using chicken than that sort of, those sort of low calorie sausages you buy with the weird pork. They just feel really processed. Whereas these are really good sausages, but of course they're very low fat because they're chicken. So there's no fat in there. I think they're organic, are they organic? I don't know. So to that, I'm gonna use some, put some black eyed beans and some kidney beans. I'm gonna add that in. You can just use kidney beans or just use black beans if you want. And then to that, I'm adding Heinz baked beans because that's just so cowboy. But the low sugar ones, and there's a reef. I'm not just doing the low sugar because we're watching how much sugar we're eating after Christmas. I'm actually doing it because I don't want a really sweet flavour. I want a really savoury flavour. When I was, when I was, practicing with this recipe this afternoon, that was like, oh god, yeah. It doesn't taste processed. Baked beans without sugar in. I mean, obviously, if you're having them on toast with cheese, you want the full sugar baked beans. But for a savoury dish like this, oh, that's nearly ready. For a savoury dish like this, this actually does work better. I don't know if anyone's like me, but I once got these sugar-free beans, <coughs> beans on toast. And I ended up adding sugar to them, but it didn't taste like... If they're chicken sausages, they aren't sausages. Yeah, they are. No, they aren't. Well, Kiki says they're not sausages if they're chicken sausages. You like pork sausages, don't you, brother? Because it's chicken. So look at that. Yum, yum, yum. So to that, I'm going to add some salt. Mm. Some black pepper. We like black pepper, don't we, Kiki? Yeah. Mmm, and you want... Yes, one and eight is really nearly ready too. So, oh, look at that. So you just cook that. They were browned on the outside. And you just cook it probably for about five minutes. That's all. See how quickly you can get this on the table. And it's low calorie and the kids and everyone will eat it. Nobody will know it's a diet food. So what I do is I get the sausage out and I cut it in the middle. And I just do that with my finger to make sure it's really hot in the middle. Because if it's not really hot in the middle, then... It's no good. So let's let that just cook down a bit. Um, whoop. How are you, Mark? Did Daddy, did Daddy message us again? No. No. Everyone's asking where he is. He's at the theatre. He's at the theatre tonight. Oh, yummy, one yum, second. Yum. Oh, wow. Oh, got one ready to try in a minute. Hi. Okay, so that's it, it's done. But what we're gonna do is make it into little individual dishes. So, take a spoonful, can they see you, Kiki? So you've got all the beans, you've got the smoky paprika, you've got the chili, you've got the sausages. Mmm, I didn't put the tin tomatoes in and um, 
carrots like they did in the steam rolls. I don't like it. I'm going to come round because you've okay, gone in a weird round. place. Okay, so I'm just going to slice. This is a jacket potato, <laughs> but if you haven't got any jacket potatoes done, I just did them in the microwave earlier on because I wanted to keep the skin on. They don't keep the skin on on the Slimming World one, and I think that's a shame. So just put them around in a circle. Can you put tomatoes in it, someone asked? Yeah, I mean, in the Slimming World one, they do. They put a tin of tomatoes, but... I just think it weakens down the flavour. And the trouble is, if you're going to put in a tin of tomatoes, you can't just put a tin of tomatoes and heat it for 10, 15 minutes because it's vinegary. You need to really cook tin tomatoes. So that's why I've done it differently from the Slimming World and not put in a tin of tomatoes. If you're cooking it for a long time, yes. So you see that. What's really nice about this, you get the feeling you're having carbs. You're actually just having less than half a potato. So again, I don't like the spray, the spray oil. So I'm just taking a bit of oil like that, just brushing it on the top, like that. Can you believe this dinner is almost ready? A little sprinkling of salt. And then I've got the grill hot, and that goes under the grill. <laughs> How's Kiki doing, guys? Awful. How's the camera work? It's so ah. shaky. Right. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> look at this, guys. How delicious does that look? Woohoo! Okay, we've got to try it. It's going to be damn hot. Wow. Just put it on there. Doesn't that look lovely? And of course you could put some salad with it. Although, I don't think cowboys would have had salad. Do you, Kiki? Do you think cowboys would have had salad? No. No. So, look at that. I've got a lovely crunchy potato. Oh my God. Sit oh, down. I love potato like that. Sit down. Just gonna have a little try. So let's get in. I've got a bit of potato. Let me get underneath here and show you. Oh, look at that. Look at the sausages and the beans. Oh, really lovely on this cold winter's night. You can smell the garlic, the onion, the smoky paprika, the chilli. It's very hot. If Daddy was here, he'd burn his lip, wouldn't he? Mm -hmm. Straight away. <laughs> A bit silly. Mm. That is so delicious. And try the chicken sausage. Mmm. Mmm, garlic. Low fat, low calorie, cheap to make, done within, how long was that? Within 15 minutes. Can't do better than that, can you? Hmm? Give them one last shot. Come on, Kiki. Mmm. Thank you. So, what do you think of that, guys? Kiki, can you turn the um, grill off for me? Do you think you'll have a go at that? Hang on, let me just turn this back. Mm. Do you think you'll have a go at that? Do ya? Oh my God, it was so yum. Thing is, I've been doing the bone broth and green juice fast today, so I'm not really supposed to eat that. But I've been doing quite a bit of eating what I'm not supposed to be eating. I had a really... Oh, Kiki, can you add a little splash of water to the um, spaghetti bolognese? You can just use that bottle there and give it a stir. I'm doing spaghetti bolognese for the girls. And fill up the kettle to full, full, full for the spaghetti. Yeah? Give it a stir. So, sorry, feeding the kids at the same time. Um, I'm not kidding, guys. That is delicious. And it's much better than the Slimming World one. <laughs> in my opinion. In my opinion. So, shout out for your daughter, Zahra, in Algeria. Oh, hi, Lorraine. Hope you're feeling a bit cheerier today. I know you were a bit down last week. I'm doing Slimming World, so we'd use oil spray. Yeah, just use the oil spray. Personally, I just don't like it. It's just really weird oil. It's mixed with something and I don't like it. Um, 
I'm sure a teaspoon of oil is the same as a spray. Um, I've just eaten three large lily obrians. What are those? Alessandra Putanesca. I, well, where do I get my bone broth from? I either get loads of chicken bones, I roast a chicken and then the chicken bones afterwards I put in a slow cooker with celery, onion, loads of peppercorns, massive big uh, spoonful of salt, lots of water, celery, onions, and I let it cook. And I just keep using it over two days. I never turn it off, I just keep it on a really, really good low. I don't, I don't try it, I don't have a spoonful of it until it's cooked for 10 hours. Or at the moment this week, because I'm a bit overcome with everything, I just bought some, let me show you the ones I bought. I just bought these ones because I think it's really important to use organic. The cheapest way, obviously, is to do your own because a bag like that is five pounds something and you need two of those on a bone broth day. That's five pounds something, but they've got them special offer in a cardo for four pounds. But it really is better to use organic, I think, because you're boiling the very like life out of the bones. So you don't want like manky bones. Um, welcome, you've just caught a live. Helen Fatherly, I've just caught a live. Only problem is I'm still awake and it's 3.15 in the morning. Oh God, poor you. Scott Green has some seeing Denise, Denise Welsh in Calada Girls next month. Oh wow, so are we, we're hoping to see her next month. Um, Monique Cunningham, how's your back? Much better, thank you, much, much better. Great filming from Kiki, guys. Go up, Kiki, they're saying. Uh, yeah. No, Mark won't be eating this. Mark won't be eating this either because Mark's doing the bone broth and green juice. So this morning we had a green juice with broccoli, celery, ginger, lemon, cucumber and spinach. It's gorgeous. It's one of those that you drink it and you're just like, energy. And then I did a gorgeous bone broth vegetable soup, really thick and yummy and delicious. And I've, I've had two bowls of that. And then obviously I tried this when I was cooking it. And I'm having another little bite. Um, oh, thank you. That's really kind, Elizabeth. Thank you for your kind words. So, can we have a follow each other on Instagram? Claire Vaughan. Yeah, I'll look for you and follow you. Nadia, did you pre-cook the sausages? Yeah. I just dry fried them, browned them. Those chicken sausages cook really quickly. So any skinny sausage will, really. And then I put them in the hot beans. And um, and then just cut through them, check they're hot in the middle. So, I mean, you saw me cook that. I mean, okay, I had, I had pre-cooked the onions. So, all in all, that's a 20-minute dinner. That's ready in 20 minutes. Have you got any tips reducing chocolate cravings? Oh, my God, it's so hard, isn't it? It's so hard. Well, I've got, yeah, I mean, it's all the boring stuff distract yourself, do something else. Think about how fantastic it is to feel slimmer. It feels so much nicer to feel slimmer than eat that piece of chocolate. Think about the fact that the first thought is, oh, having this chocolate's a really good idea. Second thought after you've eaten this, you'll feel miserable. But a lot of people crave chocolate because they're, and sugar because they're not actually getting enough good food, enough nutrients. So if you're eating enough vegetables and protein and you're really getting regular meals every four hours five hours or so you shouldn't really get the cravings i don't know if you still have your period because my my ovaries are dried up all raisins but i used to be terrible around my period and i used to take a supplement called magnesium okay and it had the b vitamins and all those things that you lack um when you're having your periods and it you used to really help my cravings um, yeah, they're a bummer. Marcia Morgan, can you tell me the name of the book you were talking about? Yes, it is called The Unexpected Joys of Being Sober. And I keep on recommending and recommending. People keep texting me with my mates and saying, are you getting paid for that book? I promise you with every fibre of my being, I am not. It is literally, I saw somebody talking about it on Instagram. I then ordered it 
and it's been a revelation for me. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. And Mark's gone off today with one because I bought him one. And it is interesting because I said to him, even though you've been sober for 15 years, there's a lot of stuff in it that will remind you. And the woman that has written it is so honest. She talks about the real rock bottom she got to. And she also talks about how basically, in a way, it's quite a broad spectrum of alcoholism. And in a way, unless you're just having a couple of drinks a month, most of us have got a bit of a problem with drinking. Whoops. <laughs> um, hang on, where's my, my glasses? Uh, uh, Jane, you and Mark are keeping us all going. Healthy way is easier with you guys doing it. Oh, that's so, but do you know what? This is what Mark and I keep saying as well. You guys are really helping us get through it as well. Today is day three, no alcohol for me. Saturday, Sunday, we last two days of holes in Malta. It was an inclusive hotel. Didn't drink on the flight, yay. My partner thinks he's come home to the wrong person. Please get that book, get that book because it will get you through, it will get you through day by day. Just keep reading it, avidly read it. When you think that you're gonna succumb, you know, go and have a read over it, look over it again. Um, so guys, don't forget tomorrow's vlog, vloggery is live as well because we are doing a live are we weighing ourselves live? No, we'll have weighed ourselves in the morning, but we'll be telling you in the evening. Because we were going to do it live. And I said to Mark, no, because by the end of the day, I'll be weighing more. So we're going to weigh ourselves in the morning, and then we're going to tell you, we're going to admit what it is. I'm really worried. I don't think I'll have... Dark chocolate is full of magnesium. Yeah, if you're really craving chocolate, have four squares of dark chocolate. I used to hate it, and now I really like it. It does work. Um... Yes, so tomorrow we are going to be doing a live weigh-in. You guys, we'd love it if you shared with us your comments and how you're going and how it's going for you. Because, oh, as I was saying earlier, Mark and I say that listening to all you and you coming back saying how we're helping you and, and, and you're helping us is really keeping us all, keeping us all on the straight and narrow, isn't it? Because like, I go to eat something and I think, I'm going to have to tell the subs. I'm going to have to admit it. Whereas usually I'm a bit of a secret eater, if I'm honest. Right. Right, the bolognese is nearly ready, girls. So we need to put the spaghetti on. You're so hungry. They're so hungry. They're dying. They're so hungry. Um, Mark may be stripping down to his pants again, Molly. He may very well be stripping down to his pants again. I think he will. He's been much better than me. He's been much better because I went to, if you see our vlog yesterday, I went to my friend Lisa's yesterday and I succumbed. I succumbed to crisps. I succumbed to chips. But I wasn't beating myself up about it because I was so chuffed that I didn't drink a single drop of anything. Because usually we have vodka tonics and champagne at Lisa's. And yesterday I didn't have anything. So now this is... Is this day seven? What's the date today, girls? What is the date? Seven. It's the seventh. Yes. So seven days. Sober. How many of you, or any of you doing dry January? Who's doing dry January? Who's doing, I'm do, in case you didn't know, I'm doing a hundred days. A hundred days of no drinking. Oh my God. Maddie has written the most beautiful song today. For Kiki, it's a song that she wrote for Kiki. Where can they listen to it, Maddie? Go to Maddie's bio and go to her SoundCloud and listen to it. It's called Heart Attack. It made me cry. It's such a pretty. It made Kiki cry, didn't it, Kiki? Kiki was upstairs. I was downstairs. Maddie was next door in her room. And I got a text from Kiki saying, oh, mom, listen to this song. Maddie wrote it for me. I'm in tears. And then I listened to it. I was in tears. And then we went upstairs to Maddie. And Maddie, poor Maddie was like, we were like, Maddie, your song. What a lovely thing for a big sister to do for a little sister, write her a song, articulating just how she feels. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Please listen to it and please tell all your friends. Oh, people are saying, some people are saying they've heard it. Oh, Ashley says it's incredible, Maddie. Oh, she says, thank you. Thank you for the advice on cooking with a toddler tonight. My two-year-old ate all a fish pie we made together. Oh, I'm so pleased, Imogen. Oh, well done. Actually, I'm doing more than dry January. Maddie's SoundCloud, is somebody putting it up? 
Mark, oh, that's Mark. Did you hear this? Oh, somebody just put the link up. Is that Michelle? Thanks, Michelle. Mark, you don't know this. You don't know this story that's happened here today. We've all been in tears. Listen to Maddie's song, because Mark's out. Listen to Maddie's song, the whole house. All of us have been in tears here tonight. Uh, so, everybody, I've got to go because the girls are literally looking at me with those. I'm so hungry, Mommy. So I've got to make their spaghetti. So um, I might do a live on Insta later. So make sure you're all following us on Nadiswala uh, and family Instagram and our Popcorn Junkies Instagram, where Mark gets hold of all kinds of great posters and things that you might not have seen anywhere else and really good uh, gossip, showbiz gossip and stuff. So check out that Instagram. And um, please hit the like button if you've liked this film and hit the subscribe button. We love that. Thank you so much, everybody. Keep going and don't forget to join us live tomorrow. Bye.